when was the last time that you just sit down and look at your surroundings and observe what's going on you probably wouldn't know that there are elephants living in your room Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this world. We are here again for another Coffee with C. Our topic from today is from our friend, Motivation. And here it is. Coffee with C. Thanks, sister. Can you make video on a topic related to mobile addiction, a burning issue? Sure. Not only we are going to talk about mobile addiction as an issue, we will also talk about steps on how to avoid it or how to lessen mobile addiction. So let's begin. How many times you check your phone in a day? Have you been in a park where all the kids are playing but the parents are on their phones? Like this? Like this? What about this? What about at a dinner table? All the children, or not just children, but even the parents are on their phone scrolling while eating. Like this. People are becoming zombies where they are just mindlessly scrolling on their phone. I can hear you. See, I don't want to miss out on what's going on. I don't want to miss out on what's going on in social media and my friends' lives. And if I don't have social media, what am I gonna do? It is so boring. I am extremely bored. I have nothing else to do. Sure. When was the last time you walk outside and ride a bike? When was the last time you play ball or hang out with friends? When was the last time when you actually enjoy your meal without you scrolling on your phone? And when was the last time that you actually have a conversation with someone eye to eye and just enjoying fully the conversation without the micro interruptions from your social media? Okay, you don't have to answer that now. We are going to talk about three steps. How can we minimize this addiction? Number one, find something that interests you because you will be able to divert your attention from social media and do the things that truly interests you. Do something that you love, that you forget your phone. If you love playing basketball or if you love swimming, if you love working out, you will be able to do that without you constantly looking at your phone and scrolling mindlessly. You would enjoy the time and the time will go by so fast because you love playing ball, you love swimming, you love exercising. Do that. Can you turn off your notification and silent your phone and focus on your task for at least three hours? Number two, turn off your notifications or might as well uninstall your social media on your phone. Because here's the thing, right? You are currently addicted. Even if you just turn off the notifications, you'll be tempted pulling this and keep looking and just scrolling and checking it. Uninstalling your social media on your phone, you don't have a choice. You will be able to regulate your usage time. Find a time to go to social media in the morning or at night. And then after that session, leave it. My friends, missing a notification is not going to kill you. And you are not missing out anything. You are missing out on your life or not living in the moment. Number three, deliberately use social media on a specific time of day. Listen to this. I am not telling you to quit social media entirely you uninstalling your social media apps in your phone is not saying that you are quitting social media at all you can come home and go to your computer or even in your smartphone when you are on your social media session treat social media like 
watching Netflix or playing video games. There are just specific times in a day that you do those things. You don't watch Netflix at a park. You don't play video games while you're at a dining table. Treat social media as just part of what you do. I am not against mobile phones. They have changed the world. They make our lives easier. We've become more connected. However, overly usage of it, it's like ruling your entire life. Okay, I'm getting so aggressive. Calm down. I'm very passionate about this topic because I will never have a conversation with someone that I am talking to him or her and he or she is this on their phone. No, I'm gonna walk away before you even know it. Before I end this video, I want you guys to think. It can be hard to find your own voice when you are constantly consuming someone else's opinion. Can you put your attention into other things that will validate your voice and won't require validation from likes and comments? You doing this may be able to help you to get to know yourself even better. Instead of you swiping on social media and consuming others lives. When was the last time that you just sit down and look at your surroundings and observe what's going on? You probably wouldn't know that there are elephants living in your room. When was the last time you sipped from your cup of coffee without your phone in the other hand? When was the last time you truly have a meaningful conversation without any interruptions from your mobile phone? When was the last time you eat at a dinner table enjoying your meal without you scrolling on your phone? When? Maybe if you do all these four steps, you get to experience some of those again. Keep your requests, your topics, comment down below. I create videos every week for my Coffee with C community, so your topic may be next. Until next time!